Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss another interview question. The question is, what is an Apex transaction? Now, an Apex transaction represents a set of operations that are executed as a single unit. So that is what we call as Apex transaction. If the operation that are executed in a single unit is considered as a transaction. All the DML operation in a transaction will either complete successfully or if there is an error occur in one of those operation then the entire transaction will be rolled back. Now you're going to say that hey what's the point like why do we have to roll back something which was successful because let's go ahead and give you an example here. So let's say you have an account A and then you have an account B. Now in the account A, you have $500 and in account B, you have $0 and you are transferring the money from account A to account B. And how many dollars you're transferring? Let's say you're transferring $500 from account A to account B. Now this should be a one transaction the process of transferring the money from a to b should be under single transaction because if one of these operation fails then the other operation should be rolled back so the first step here would be retrieving the money from account a and then the second step would be depositing the money to account b right so there will be two steps in this and this should be one transaction and why it should be one transaction, I'll explain to you. So the first operation that happened was from account A to account B. That was success. So first operation is we are retrieving the money from account A. So we are retrieving $500 from account A. So what happened now, the final balance of account A became $0. The second step is depositing the money to the account B. Now while we were depositing the money to the account B, there was an error. There was an error here so what happened is the money could not be deposited to account b so there was still zero dollars here we had zero dollars here we have zero dollars here now this is a problem because where what about our five hundred dollars we were about to transfer from a to b if b did not have five hundred dollars why a is having zero dollars it should be 500 so we want this negative to reverse the back so we should have the final balance if the operation failed from depot in the deposit operation failed then the retrieving operation should get rolled back so that is what the purpose of the transaction is so in the transaction either all the dml operations will successfully complete or even if there is a failure or an error in one of the operation the entire transaction will be rolled back so that is what the apex transaction is so in the next tutorial we are going to go ahead and do an example to represent how things are done in an apex transaction and if something fails what happens to the rest of the operation 